Shalom, everyone. Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international videos. I am Kenethia Johnson or Kenethia J. Welcome back. Micah 891. Micah, the book of Micah 7 verse 5. 7 verse 5 mm. This is this is for this is going to be a part 2. The Lord told me to come out here and to tell people don't trust anybody. In the process of me going to Micah 7 verse 5, the Lord is showing me a follow-up scripture to the video he just put out. This was a short video. Wicked rulers and prophets. Wicked rulers and prophets. Then the then they will cry to the Lord, but he will not hear them. He will even hide his face from them at that time because they have been evil in their deeds. When the Lord told them to stop, they told God only for one day. When the Lord driven these people out from around you or from around your living space where you're at for your safety, these, these people ignored God. This man of God, this woman of God, they continue to gather in a daughter and a family. And so the Lord is saying, because you have continued in your evil deeds, he will hide his face from you every time you cry out to him. He won't hear you. Wicked rulers and prophets. Okay. Part two. Don't trust anybody. Micah 7 verse 5. Do not trust in a friend. Do not trust in a friend. Do not put your confidence in a, in a companion. Another version says don't trust a companion. Another Bible scripture. Do not trust in a friend. Do not put your confidence in a companion. Guard the doors of your mouth from her who lies in your bosom. Okay. My gosh. Disobedience brings God's judgment. Wow. Okay. I saw that too. Somebody was lying like that. <laughs> like the like the Lord is putting them out there and showing people. And 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 that's something that led me here today. It was really up to me to believe the Lord at the end of the day. Because he's going to show you stuff. He's going to put it in your face. And enemies can be intimidating. Let's just be honest. Right? And so they're going to make you think that it's the Lord, but it's really them using the spirit of intimidation to do their will. Okay. And so, and like they're both, they have bent their tongues for lies. I, I pray, hallelujah, Holy Spirit. I pray all who's supposed to receive this word other than me receive this word. In almighty name of Jesus Christ, 
Hallelujah. Even the wicked prophets and rulers, let them receive you, the Holy Spirit. Let them receive this correction so that their lives may be saved from death. In Jesus Christ Almighty name, amen. I keep saying death for wicked rulers and prophets. That's what the Lord is saying. If you don't listen to him, you can't live. He don't take the powers back. He doesn't take the, the anointing back. It's either you do what he say and stop harassing people and being an evildoer and trying to stop your ex's new man's marriage to the new person, or you die. God is not going to allow you to continue to walk in all that power and nobody could talk to you or say nothing. You just think you owe, uh, like owner of this world or something. And so that's what the Lord is saying. Wicked rulers and prophets. I don't know how we keep getting here. Maybe because y'all won't stop. Soon as I end this video, the next thing coming or being said or the next spiritual attack or she can't see nine, she got to see eight. This is why we keep getting to these videos. Your own actions. An assembly of treacherous men, says the Lord. Wicked rulers and prophets. And they do not know me, says the Lord. And they do not know me, says the Lord. I got to go. He just keeps speaking. For they proceed from evil to evil and they do not know me. For they proceed from evil to evil. You keep going. You won't stop. I had to play something today and then I got to do this video because you keep manifesting in the atmosphere. Back off. Go your own separate ways. The Lord has driven you out from Kenithia house. You are no longer to help Kenithia. Kenithia has left your church. You proceed from evil to evil. And the Lord says, you don't know him. You think you know God because you've been serving him and he allow you to do your own will. But the Lord said, you really don't know him. Don't, and then the other people, the Lord says, don't, that's why we don't trust people. He's still cleaning house in his own churches. That's why I can't go back yet till he finished cleaning house. Don't even trust the pastors like that. That was my lesson. Trust no man. I trusted all these people and look, did what they wanted me to do. The moment I, the Lord told me I could say no and go do my own thing, these people tried to kill me. From evil to evil, from stalking to stalking, harassment and bullying. The Lord said, you really don't know him.